and we are continuing our Gen Con 2015 coverage. I'm here at Momentum Volsk's booth, um, and we're going to take a look at uh, Castle Assault, which is right there and here. And this is the designer, TJ. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks. Thanks. Pleasure. Yeah. Are you having a good con so far? It's busy, man. It's busy. There's a lot of folks that are new here. I've, I realized myself that Gen Con is where a lot of folks release stuff. So we've had a lot of people walk to the booth, sit down, and expect to be taught. So that's I love it. That's, that's how awesome, exactly man. Folks well, well, we're going to spread more of your teachings uh, to all the people at home. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Castle Assault. So Castle Assault is a battle card game. So there's two castles on either side of the game board. They each have 10 health. So cards are actually physically played in your castle, and then they move spatially across the game board. The goal is destroy your opponent by bringing them from their starting 10 to zero health. Now, okay. Castle Assault plays in about 30 minutes, and it's for one or two players. Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> Very cool. Um, I see here is some of the uh, turn phases. Yeah. You want to give us a little quick overview of how all the phases are played out? Sure, we kind of helpfully print that here. And so the first thing you do is roll momentum. That is a meter here that swings back and forth through the turns of battle and tides of war. So it helps, uh, helps in-game benefits of your units. Uh, there's also your uh, resources. So this is what allows you to bring your units out to the battlefield. And then there's a tower defense element. This is a very tower defense type strategic game. So tower defense, they kind of march forward and then when they land like that next to each other, they would physically do battle. Battle is very straightforward in that it's attack minus armor is damage. So that's it. No dice rolls, no magic, no, no trickiness. It's five minus zero. So in this case, this person would take three damage, correct? Yeah, this guy's toast and actually this guy's toast. So, um, and then the open phase. So here's an action where you can place, that's the time you place more resources. Uh, this is where you could play more uh, more trickiness on the game board, uh, summoning more units to the field, and then you're making actions. Every unit you have can do things like shooting. They can do things like uh, shifting on the game board. There's all a myriad of number of things, and it's all based on what's actually uh, the text of the card. So in this instance, John, it's actually got a ranged, so we can actually shoot in front of them linearly. So as a sniper, an elvish sniper, that's kind of the expectation that he has a bow. Otherwise, he's a really poor elf. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then that's kind of, and then you take turns. It's your turn, your opponent's turn. Okay. Now, with the one-player scenario, uh, a lot of people ask us, like, what's that all about? Yeah. There's a special warband deck specifically for that. And that kind of uses this meter on this side. It helps track what turn it is. And there's a, within the deck, there's cards that populate in your opposing castle and then they'll come at you via what's on that card. So there's artificial intelligence built into that uh, single player uh, That's campaign That's very deck. cool, that, that sounds really interesting to me there. So it does keep the, it does keep the folks, you know, to, it's, it's 9 p.m. on a Tuesday, John. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over to my buddy's house and start up a game, of, you know, a longer game such yeah, as Risk. Yeah, you may want to just play alone just play and alone. chill, have a couple of beers, <laughs> right? Beers and board games. Come We're on, on beers tonight. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So, Sounds like a plan. So that's kind of the nutshell of Castle Assault. Um, okay. Cool, yeah, man. we've been in development for about three years. We've got uh, six war bands here with the initial expansion, which are MSRPing for uh, sixty dollars. It's going to be in distribution. I expect to have it in our local stores uh, approximately October. Right. Uh, okay. Because we're so new off the Kickstarter. We've had great help with uh, the distribution folks here at Gen Con, so I think they've had two people that are going to pick it up for us. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Really exciting, actually. Very cool. And uh, we have expansions going. We have 22 like faction. Wow, uh, that's like, awesome. Variants out there, so we're going to start. We're going to start oh, cool, producing. This. All right. Well, uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out for this game, and uh, hopefully, we we'll get some review copies. Not right now. Uh, this is uh, you said oh, straight oh, off. The Gen Con God interrupts me again. You hear that guy? I'm going to assault his office. That's what I'm going to do. Saw his butt dress. Yeah. What's going on? Just going to take a little uh, Jeopardy. Uh, it's done. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, uh, you... Uh, these copies are straight off from China, you said, right? Right off the airplane, actually. That's awesome. So when, once we get some uh, the copies uh, and we get those to our backers, 
John, and there would be dealers. expecting a few at your door, whether you want it or not. Well, there you go. We're going to get a couple of reviews just for you guys, all right? Hey, thanks a lot, Pleasure. man. Thanks for stopping Nice meeting by. you.